I'd like to invite a friend of mine who came all the way from Canada, a beautiful woman. She's written a number of books. She's an accomplished writer. This, of course, is Bren Coulson. I'd like to, like to get a warm applause for this warrior woman. Oh, thank you with your presence. Hey, hi. Can you hear me all? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Okay. I don't know because when I'm up here speaking, it doesn't sound like I'm being heard, like type thing, you know. Anyway, my name is Bren Colson. I'm from Yellowknife Northwest Territories in Northern Canada and um, invited to speak here. I always feel that, uh, um, I always tell people that. Uh, if you want to know where Yellowknife is, then just uh, think about it being 1,000 miles south of where Santa Claus lives in the north. We have, we do have 24-hour uh, daylight. In the summertime, in July, most of the month, you have 24-hour uh, daylight. And in November, for a couple of weeks, we have almost 24-hour darkness. But anyway, I was born in Yellowknife. Um, years ago, before there was even a government there. If you look at the top of uh, North America, in the top of Canada, you will you know where Alaska is, and then there's the Yukon, and then there used to be all the way to the Atlantic Ocean, the Northwest Territories, but in 1999 we split the Northwest Territories in half because uh, we have now Western Northwest Territories and uh, Eastern Northwest Territories, and I'm from the, the Western Northwest Territories. The Inuit, who used to be called Eskimo, but their real Aboriginal name is Inuit, now have Nunavut in the far eastern part of what used to be the whole Northwest Territories. We have about 31 communities from the Mackenzie Delta and the Arctic Ocean all the way down to the 60th parallel. Um, some of those communities, uh, all of most. Most, I would say, the majority, that it's true that the majority of Aboriginal people in the communities uh, do constitute over 50% and is a majority. In the larger centers like Inuvik, Yellowknife, Hay River, Fort Smith, there is more of a division uh, and sometimes more than 51% of non-Aboriginal people. So in the larger centers, you don't have that, but you do in the Mackenzie Valley communities. I am what is called Métis, M-E-T-I-S. My mother was Tsotani, which is a, a Great Slave Lake Southern Aboriginal group, and my dad was Polish. And ab Aboriginal people of mixed ancestry, Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal in Canada and the Northwest Territories we call, are called Métis. My daughter, who is uh, more Aboriginal than me, is called a Dene and then the high western Arctic, if you keep on going toward the northwest pole, is the Inuvialuit. So we basically have the Inuvialuit, the Dene and Métis, and the Inuit in our uh, northern sort of hemisphere. I've always believed that in order for you to understand who you are, you have to know your history. And that's why it's so important that young people are being educated today to know their history because once you know your history, you have an identity. I look at history, heritage, and culture as past, present, and future. You need to